Center, and we're here to talk about Native American instruments. Now, speaking of instruments, I'm sure you want to know about these. These look like apples, I know, but they're shakers. A lot of different cultures use shakers. These aren't real apples. They never were real apples. They're too hard. They break your teeth. But if you shake them like this, they make a nice sound. And they go with my song. My song is called Wehana. Now, I don't think Wehana really means anything. It is called the Lonesome Song. And it's a song that you sing whenever you feel lonesome or if you feel sad. And for some reason, it makes you feel better. Anyway, I'm going to do it where I'm going to sing a part and I want you to repeat it. First, let's say the word Wehana. Wehana. Good, okay. Now, this is the way it goes. Wehana, 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 hey. And you sing. Wehana, 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 hey. Now you. We, hey ho, we, hey ho. Pretty good. We're going to do it one more time. Now that you know how it goes, and I'll sing part of it, and then you repeat, and then I'll sing again, and you repeat, and we'll go on like that, okay? Let's go. Let me do a little shaking first. Wehana, 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 hey. Wehana, 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 hey. good. Now, that's a song, a Native American song, as I said before. Native Americans, like all other different cultures, have their own special songs, and that's one song that I actually learned from a Native American group called Ulali. They're a group of uh, women who sing. They're all Native American women. Now, I'm going to tell you a story, because as in more, most cultures, Native Americans also have their own story. This is a story that tells you about how the earth began. And I'm gonna use various instruments in it, and I'll explain a little bit about the instruments as we go along. Now, a long time ago, the earth was just water. This is the earth. This is called a rain stick. Now it's called a rain stick because it sounds like rain. Listen. Now on this water earth, they lived all kinds of animals that loved the water. Oh, my rain stick's still playing. There were ducks. Oh, there were, of course, there were fish, there were sharks, and as you can see here, there were dolphins, yes. And there were turtles that liked to live in the water and beavers and, oh, there was a special bird called a loon. Kind of looks like a duck, maybe a little bit smaller. It has a black head and it has a white stripe around its neck, which makes it look like it has on a necklace. Now there is a lake up in upstate New York that's called Loon Lake. And late at night, you can hear the loons go, whoo, 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 very sounding sound but loons love the water and also there was a little animal called a muskrat it was a little furry animal that likes to live around the water as well and of course there were turtles turtles love the water too anyway all these animals lived on this water earth now up above the earth in the sky there was a great kingdom and there was a king who ruled the kingdom and he had a magnificent tree. And that tree actually grew on one of the clouds. 
and it had branches that stretched out to the east and to the west and to the north and to the south. One day, there was a terrible rainstorm and there was thunder. This is a drum, a Native American drum. king had a daughter, a princess, who was very, very curious. And she had heard about this, this water world that was down below, and she wanted to see it. So she went up to the hole, and she looked down, but she couldn't see it. So she leaned down closer. She still couldn't see it. She leaned down closer and further and further and further until she lost her balance and she fell through the hole that the tree had made. She reached up and she tried to grab some part of the cloud to pull herself up, but all she could grab were seeds that had dropped from the tree. And she started to fall down, 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 down to the earth. The duck looked up and saw her falling. Ah, there's somebody falling. She can't land on the water. She must land on something solid. So the turtle came up and said, well, she can land on my back. Ah, that's a good idea, but we have to make it soft. Oh, I know, there's dirt underneath all this water. I'll dive down and see if I can get it. So the duck dove into the water and he went down and down and down and down. Oh, but he couldn't go as far down as the dirt was. So he looked around and he said, well, who else wants to try to get this dirt? We don't want this girl to fall on a really hard surface either. So the beaver said, well, I'll try. So the beaver dove down. She dove and she dove and she dove and she dove. Oh, but she couldn't reach the dirt. Well, who else is gonna try? I'll try, said the loon. And the loon dove down, and she dove, and she went further, and further, and further, and she could see the dirt, but ugh! She didn't make it far enough to grab any of the dirt. The duck looked around and said, well, who else will try? I'll try said the little muskrat. So the muskrat went down and dove and went further and further and further and further and further and further. And he could just reach a few grains of dirt and ooh, he came all the way up. I've got the dirt, I've got the dirt. And the duck said, quick, let's spread it on the turtle's back. And so they spread it on the turtle's back. And while they were spreading it, it seemed to get bigger. And it got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it was the whole world resting on the turtle's back. And two swans flew up to the girl who was falling. And they grabbed her with each of one of their wings and they brought her softly down to the earth. And when she fell, she dropped those seeds onto the earth. And that was the beginning of plants because grass grew from those seeds and trees grew from those seeds and flowers grew from those seeds. Now, Native Americans, just like most people, found different uses for those different plants. Some of the plants we eat, vegetables are plants, fruit are plants, and some of the plants we make things. Sometimes people build houses. My bookshelf back here is made of wood that comes from trees, but some people made instruments from the plants. 
like this drum that I use. This drum was made by a man from the Osage people. The Native Americans have different names for the groups of people that live in different parts of the Americas. And this one is made from a gourd. See how hard that is? Now, gourd is something like a pumpkin or squash. If you leave a squash out for like a year or maybe a year and a half or a really, really long time, it'll get hard. And so that was discovered and they made a drum with it. They used the gourd and then they stretched deer skin on top of it. And here's the drumstick. Oh, see, I broke my drumstick. But the stick part is made out of bamboo, which is a kind of a plant. And they put deer skin for the top part. You wanna hear how it sounds? You heard it a minute ago when I did the thunder. Here it goes. Big, big sound. You know what? While I have this drum, let's sing our Weihana song. Now I'll sing a part and you'll repeat it. You ready? Weihana, 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 hey. Weihana, 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 hey. job. Now that song is so easy. Maybe if you feel sad or you feel lonesome, you might want to sing the Weihana song. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you today. And maybe you'll see me again sometime. So bye-bye.